This is a great movie. You're not going to regret it. Time to get serious about movies. It's your front row seat to Hollywood's best movies here on On Cinema at the Cinema. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of On Cinema. I'm your host, Tim Heidecker. Um, and this is a show called Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema, where we talk about new movies coming your way. And I'm joined by my guest, Greg Turkington, who's joining me. And we've been... Uh, hey, guys. Uh, here once again to give you the rundown, the latest scoop and information on the new movies that are out this weekend. And there are two of them to talk about today. And we have been working a lot, very hard on Decker. We've been shooting Decker right now and getting a lot of stuff. And it's coming lot, along great. I'm having a good time with that. We're not getting a lot of rest because we've been prepping for the Electric Sun Desert Music Festival coming up in a couple, uh, next, this, this coming week actually. It's, it's sneaking up on us. And uh, I got an awesome, awesome plan. And I've got just an awesome uh, opportunity for everybody that's coming because um, basically me and the good doctor, San, and I have developed this very special blend of uh, the, what I'm calling the TH, TCH vape system uh, in honor of my dearly departed. And um, we're going to be giving away as much as we can uh, this weekend. Uh, so if you come to the music festival, you'll be getting a free TCH vape system kit. Sets you up with the beautiful machine here and uh, the preloaded and USB cable. And stick around. We got Dr. Sand coming. Who's going to talk all about this? He's going to be at the festival doing lectures on proper uh, usage of the vape system, the THC. TCH vape system. And uh, what else? Can we get some... Uh, popcorn classic? Mm, yes, we'll do a popcorn classic. But I do want to get some to eat. Uh, we're retooling the menu, and we've got a little Spanish flair today. Been getting some cool advice from you guys online. Uh, tapas. Could do tapas. Let me try the paella. I haven't tried that yet. And uh, let me get a glass of champagne if we've got anything good back there because uh, we're celebrating. What do you, what would you like? Greg? I want you to go away so that we can talk about movies. Just get out of here. All right, let's see what we got today. Oh yes, uh, Fast and Furious 8. The Fate of the Furious, directed by F. Gary Gray. Who directed all the others. So he's back in the saddle again. Actored by Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson, Charlize Theron. When a, mysterious, when a mysterious woman seduces Don into a life of crime and betrayal against those closest to him, the crew faces that will test them like never before. So this is the classic uh, case of the uh, Fast and the Furious. And I love this movie. I thought it was missing. Uh, the great Paul Driver, I thought, um, you know, he really held that, that, that series together. Of course, mm -hmm. we lost him uh, a few years ago. So uh, we would have wished him back. And I think they, these days with digital uh, animation and cartoons and stuff, they could have put him in there easily. So I don't know why they didn't. That was disrespectful. They should have had him in like we had Tom Cruise Jr. Um, on the Oscar special. And uh, that was my only note. They could have gotten his son to do the voice, vice versa kind of thing. Um, if he has a son, I don't know if he does. But sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's just time for an actor to move on, not necessarily to die, but to move on. For instance, you had Sean Connery, who was fantastic as James Bond, but then when Roger Moore came, that ushered in a new chapter that people enjoyed even more. And I like to look at it that way with the Fast and Furious franchise, which now, incidentally, is going to be in the Guinness Book uh, for the highest number reached in a sequel. Now, of course, Bond has had more movies, but they didn't have numbers in the titles like this one did. But just in terms of movies that end with numbers, uh, this is now the furthest any of them have ever gone, beating out Police Academy 7. All right. Very well. What's that? The paella. The paella? Yeah. Okay. I don't do, I can't eat shellfish. Why'd you put it on your menu then?
Just take the whole thing away so we can uh, review uh, some uh, movies. Just design. take it away and bring him a cheeseburger. No. Oh. Leave the wine. Jeez. You just made popcorn, then it's so easy. You just scoop it up into a cup and bring it out. Or That's get not, it yourself, self-service. You don't need to have him Mark. bringing it. Mark, no good. This is corked. You gotta smell the wine before you bring it out. What do you smell for? If it smells like shit, it's bad wine. Get rid of it. All right, uh, what was it again? Five bags? Five bags of popcorn, because that's the highest rating, and eight. I don't Hot Wheels. I, I, sorry, I, I, don't want, I don't want that. Hot Wheels. It's just wine, I but want it's in a different it's red wine. Don't come back, All right. Mark. The Lost City of Z. James Gray, starring Sierra Miller, Charlie Hunman, Tom Holland. True life drama that centers on British explorer Cur Colonel Percival Fawcett, who disappeared while searching for a mysterious city in the Amazons in the 20s. This was a Oscar winner uh, for me. It will seals the deal for me with uh, Sierra Miller and uh, one of the great movies of the year. So City of Lost Z, five bags. Yeah, it's Reminded kind of me a... of these um, sort of uh, adventure movies. That's uh, the only thing I wanted to add to that. Like an epic adventure, like um... Treasure of the Sierra Madre or Ben Hur or something like that. Um, this is a big movie, make no mistake about it, and it is big movies that tend to take home Oscar gold. So you're absolutely correct in your prediction. This will be a big Oscar winner. And I think in our own way, we're all searching for our own lost city of Z, and so it's nice to see a movie where we find it. I'm gonna give it five bags of popcorn and uh, maybe a little, um, Zorro mask, because that's the other famous movie okay. that starts with Z, right. is Zorro. Let's bring out Dr. Sand. Uh, come on out. Can I we do the popcorn classic so I can leave and don't have to be here for Dr. Sand? No, we want to end on the... It's just water. All right. Don't put the water in a wine glass. Just don't come back, Mark. It's don't. not my fault, Greg. Greg, do you mind scooting down? To this seat? Mm hmm. Damn this. Enjoy sitting in a broken chair. Sorry about this. We got uh, under new management. So, I wanted to talk to you about the T TCH vape system that we developed together. Yes, it's very uh, exciting. Yeah. We've had some ups and downs with this system in the past. We have. And uh, now I think you have dialed it in, and this is just the perfect blend. Tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Well, this new blend is 100% Ma Huang free, so we got that heart palpitation That was the shit that was driving me nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And I have this friend who started a farm of uh, Bufo Alvarius toads, and so he raises the toads out in the desert. Right. And we, uh, or he milks the venom sacs, and we get a little what? bit. What? So we put a little bit of uh, Buffalo Alvarius venom in the mix. Right. That helps us regulate our brain waves so they are on the same level as like a master meditator, like a monk who's been in a cave for 20 years. Wow, so that's good for your Who's body. nuts then. And what does it do to the folks that are in the audience listening to DKR when they're hearing those beats? I think they're going to really be into it. I think so too. Well, if you come down to the Electric Sun Desert Music Festival this weekend in Apple Valley, uh, he will be, uh, you're going to be giving lectures and, and, and discussing uh, proper usage and demonstrations. And if you come down, on, if you get there Friday, uh, you're gonna, we're going to giving away, what is it, 100 of these? Yeah. First 100 people to arrive get the entire system. You get the THC vape system uh, dispenser, the oil uh, cleaning kit, and a USB cable. So we're very excited about very excited about that. Um, and there's gonna be great music, great vibes, great food. We're gonna have a six bag set of a food truck featuring the uh, the sliders and the uh, the uh, uh, and the truffle oil. Dipping, dipping uh, arrangement. Oh, God. And uh, all right, cool. 
Greg, do you have a popcorn classic for me? I do. Do we have, uh, you're going to give me some time to do it or are you just going to keep talking about drugs? Uh, this week on Popcorn Classics, we've got a true popcorn classic, How to Deal, which stars Mandy Moore and Peter Gallagher, who you might remember from Summer Lovers, which also starred Daryl Hannah. This is a movie about a high school student who's convinced that true love doesn't exist. And I think for anyone who likes good teen movies, this is right up there with Rebel Without a Cause or any of the other movies that teens really related to in their time. You don't have to be a teen. Adults like it too. This movie did get five bags of popcorn. That's coming on strong now. Uh, if you're a Peter Gallagher head, you'll enjoy the movie nonetheless, as I did. Uh, and it is 101 minutes long. And uh, the website is howtodealmovie.com. So be sure and see it. It's directed by Claire Kilmer. That's our popcorn classic for today. Uh, can we roll a... a Road to Hollywood segment. Ooh. Tim, can we roll a we'll be back Road next to Hollywood? Week. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll come to the Electric Sun Desert Music Festival starting Friday morning at 8 a.m. 